pleasant morning to one and all honorable chief guests dr arvind kumar sir deputy director general research and regional director asia ecrisat respected guest of honor dr vilas konupi sir director icar indian institute of millets research honorable director of niftam tanjavur dr c anand ramakrishnan sir distinguished guests and speakers for technical sessions ladies and gentlemen please a moment for With immense pleasure, I would like to welcome all of you to this national webinar on business opportunities in millet processing, organized under the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav banner, promoting the Atma Nirbhar Bharat. I now invite Dr. R. Mahindran Sir, Associate Professor and Head, Center of Excellence in Non-Thermal Processing, Niftam Tanjavur, to welcome address, please. Thank you, uh, Mr. Thoni Sir. Uh, as a part of uh, uh, Atma Nirbhar Bharat initiative. The Ministry of Food Processing Industries, Government of India, uh, implementing this centrally sponsored uh, PM Reformy scheme to provide financial, technical, uh, and business support to uh, two lakh micro food processing enterprises. Uh, Nitin Tanjavur, uh, uh, formerly known as Indian Institute of Food Processing Technology, uh, playing an anchoring role in implementing this uh, PM Reformy scheme across the country under the dynamic leadership of uh, Director uh, Nitin Tanjavur. Um, Coming into uh, this pro- uh, webinar on millet, uh, we have been organizing a webinar series uh, uh, under the PM FME scheme. Uh, today's webinar is on the uh, business opportunities in millet processing. Uh, on behalf of Niftam, we are extremely happy to invite uh, Dr. Arvind Kumar Sir, uh, Deputy Director General and uh, Regional Director Asia, uh, Ekris Sir. Sir, uh, on behalf of nectam we extend warm welcome to this webinar your vast experience and your insight on the business opportunities on millet across the asia as well as in india your values will add value to this uh, webinar sir and i would like to invite uh, uh, dr uh, vilas thunapi sir our guest of honor to today's program on behalf of nectam and uh, all the faculties we would like to extend a warm welcome to this webinar sir and uh, next i would like to uh, invite uh, 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 dr dr c anandra makshin sir uh, for this uh, webinar on millet processing and uh, his constant support we are organizing uh, uh, a lot of webinars in this uh, series uh, we welcome you sir and also uh, we extend a warm welcome to all the uh, experts uh, technical uh, speakers in the subsequent sessions on uh, today's program as well as my colleagues uh, in Niptam Tanjavur and all the participants uh, to this uh, uh, webinar. Uh, uh, on behalf of Niptam family, we extend warm welcome to all the participants, colleagues and uh, experts to this program. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I would like to welcome Honorable Director of Niptam Tanjavur, Dr. C. Anand Ramakrishnan, sir. Sir has been the director of the institute, formerly IFPT, since 2016. His research endeavors are well documented in the form of 150 impact factor publications with an average impact factor of 5.22, two international patents and seven Indian patents. He is also an author of eight books and 64 book chapters. Sir has been awarded the prestigious ICAR Rafi Ahmed Kidwe Award for Outstanding Research in Agricultural Sciences 2019. Also has been awarded Tata Innovation Fellowship 1920 by DPT Government of India. Under his able leadership, Niftam Tanjavur has won several laurels in the last six years and the institute has achieved the recognition of Institute of National Importance. I would like to invite Director Sir for Presidential Address, please. Thank you so much, uh, Tonisha. Uh, Dr. Aravind Kumar, Sir, Dr. Vilas uh, Tonopi, Sir, and all the directors today is uh, attending this uh, webinar and invitees, participants, and always uh, we are getting the overwhelmed uh, participant of all our ODOP webinar series and uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, good morning to all. First of all, I like to thank uh, Aravind Kumar sir very, and I called him and immediately sir has accepted for this today's uh, webinar as a chief guest. And also congratulate on behalf of Ministry of Food Processing Industries and Niptam uh, Tanjavur and I, my own behalf. Uh, Ikrisat is uh, starting the 50 years of uh, celebrations and uh, just a week before our Prime Minister has inaugurated the celebrations and we could able to witness the way in which I organized the function and thank you so much sir with uh, your busy schedule and uh, always uh, Millet comes uh, through institution comes to our mind one is the Ikrisat another one is IMR and uh, both the directors uh, come to this podium and addressing to the entrepreneurs, farmers 
on the startups who are interested to start a let us the business and thank you so much sir in right ma sir thank you so much for accepting our invitation and vilas uh, tonopi sir is almost 6 years in journey in imr and everybody knows the witness of imr how it was the 6 years back now is uh, playing the central role for making the our uh, year of millet 2023 and uh, change we can visibly seen in the the total system not only in the icr system and all other systems imr is doing a vital role including the ministry of processing industry whatever our proposals and uh, in our scheme and other things support what i am getting from uh, your institute is the tremendous sir once again uh, thank you so much sir you are a vast experience on the your area as well as now you are promoting millet as a, a bigger brand of india thank you so much for accepting our invitation as the guest of honor so one big do is that please do visit to neptam tanjavu and we need your uh, guidance and how we can take forward for our institute in this angle of millet processing as well thank you so much sir for accepting our invitation and all the participants whenever we are putting such type of uh, webinars you are continuously supporting and odop is the uh, not a new concept it was 1970 started in the japan then fio is now thinking to go for the one country one product uh, concept maybe we don't know what our country is deciding to go for that and uh, so this concept is uh, well uh, designed and well accepted throughout the globe and is uh, well tested and most of the countries got benefited especially in the bottom line because the whole structure of this concept is bottom up approach to give the training and capacity building of uh, small enterprises in india we have the more than uh, 25 lakh micro food processing enterprises is not a uh, not a registered it's a totally unorganized we wanted to bring in the organized sector from that's what the scheme has been floated under that uh, millet uh, play the vital role almost uh, 19 districts of uh, nine states taken as the millet as the odop that is the one district one product especially madhya pradesh 4 and maharashtra 3 and odisha 2 tamil nadu 2 telangana 2 and gujarat 2 and jnk and arunachal pradesh so this districts we need to emphasize and we need to support the millet processing and cultivation of the millet also very high in these districts that that's what today this webinar organized especially for these districts entrepreneurs and state nodal officers and district level drps all are attending today's uh, this webinar to give the glimpse of what is the millet processing and how we can do the business about that millet i no need to tell experts are sitting there and it's a very good uh, like uh, good amount of the protein very good amount of the micronutrient more than anything else it is the low gi especially banyan millets and some of the millets are the less than 50 is the glycemic index because of it has the good amount of the fiber that uh, restricts the disintegration kinetics during the digestion process that's what millet is a unique product and we don't need any multivitamin tablets if you are taking the millets it takes soluble fibers everything is available in that but issue is that uh, after the harvest we are not having a much uh, mechanized form of doing that like a rye rice or wheat totally we mechanized in the form um, gate to the processing level but millet we started now so we need lot of uh, processing and especially for the milling like rice milling or wheat milling we have totally uh, controlled system is there but millet milling we need to do lot of work on that and again storage protocols once you build the storage of the millet is the big big challenge so how to enhance the storage and what are the protocol has to be followed as a packaging or the different type of storage has to be followed for the millers that need to be addressed as a imr or cftr or nitam tanjavur or sonipat all will work together to sort it out this main issue of the storage and the value added products uh, yes uh, nitam tanjavur launched uh, three years back millet ice cream in the world uh, food day and it is a uh, well accepted only from the millets we develop the millet uh, ice creams and other vermicelli biscuits and other bakery products we have developed so that's what uh, prime minister Mar- micro enterprise scheme can easily adopt such type of products that cost of the total product cost will go for maximum 25 to 30 lakhs easily you can uh, start your company and the some of the entrepreneurs who have taken the technology from us also today they are going to speak at main issue what we are looking into that even we are producing world uh, almost 40% of the production of the millet produced by the our country but what is our export road even globally millet uh, acceptance and business is increasing from 2018 it was the 9 billion dollar 
business now it's uh, predicted going to be 12 billion in the 2025 but last year our world businesses comes what we exported the total worth is uh, around 200 crore but world trade was around 3000 crore so this is the what we need to think how to enhance our export market that's what ministry of food processing industry has been uh, proposed and uh, is implemented pli scheme somebody has export like a 10 percent to 50 percent of the millet product into the uh, millets added into the product they will get the incentives from the government of india and also if you put your product and yourselves and the uh, branding and marketing in the outside country that also uh, supported by the ministry of food processing industry and the pli scheme so definitely these two scheme pmfmb and pli scheme will support the local branding and local market as well as the export market hope today that's what we decided last time we made the seminar on the millet processing and value addition a lot of people are requested to go for wanted a seminar exclusive for the business model branding and marketing maybe afternoon session or one of the session you can see the nielsen is speaking and other madam is uh, speaking from uh, the aspect of marketing and branding and financial management so this is the important session what we fix it in the afternoon session and the later session only exclusively going for the startups and uh, what are the issues in the startups and how we can enhance the business in the our indian startups that's what the last final session is going to be so definitely you will get a lot of knowledge and we want to make not only 2023 year of millet and uh, our country has to make business out of that that is the, our uh, ultimate aim of that so hope uh, you get a rich knowledge from the all the speakers once again thank you so much for accepting our chief guest arvind kumar sir and uh, tone officer for coming to this board thank you sir. thank you sir for kind guidance and motivation respected guest of honor Dr. Vilas Tonipi, sir, Director, Indian Institute of Millet Research, Hyderabad, with a PhD from Tamil Nadu Agriculture University and postdoc at University of Queensland, Australia, and at Cooperative Research Centre at Tropical Plant Pathology, Brisbane, Australia, sir has special attainments in the field of agriculture include planning, development, and management of crop improvement programs and strategies. Earlier, sir has served as head division of Seed Science and Technology at New Delhi-based IARI. Sir has won ICAR IISR award for significant contributions in seed science and technology and NSP crops in 2016. Sir has been awarded ICR award for center of excellence in seed production in 2014. Sir has also to his accord legume research editorial award award for service to the seed industry, best scientist award for directorate of sorghum research and many more. Sir has over 50 published papers to his credit and authored more than 30 book chapters. So we are honored to have you. May I now request, sir, for the address, please. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dr. Anand Ram Krishnan, Dr. Arvind Kumar, sir, and everybody on this platform today. It's very important uh, to look at the kind of uh, platforms that have developed, the ecosystem that has matured, and the kind of response in this webinar, what we could see. It indicates the fact that there is a new dimension and zeal in the food processors, the farmers, the farmer producer organizations. I'm sure there are many FPOs also present today in this particular meeting. So as the Indian Institute of Millets Research under the Indian Council of Agriculture Research, in the last 12 years, though we don't belong to the arena of food processing, but probably we were educated by IFPT, NIFTEM, and many more uh, very learned scientists and uh, Anandar Ramakrishnan has been very, very supportive of IIMR's role. So IIMR basically is a crop improvement institute, but we thought 11 years ago, just developing the varieties and hybrids does not really serve the purpose, though it increases the production productivity to a certain extent. But the kind of crops we were working needed some kind of policy support that needs to be really looked at so that they get mainstreamed into the food plate of all. Because Green Revolution really supported irrigated agriculture, but 53% of the dryland agriculture where these crops are confined to, along with other pulse soil seeds, probably have seen the light of the day in the last five years when the policies have come into picture whether it is the Ministry of Food Processing, Department of Agricultural Cooperation, and our collaboration and also the action plan with ICRSAT has brought today a certain degree of 
maturity to the system and these crops have come into dominance because of the institutional support and the kind of programs that have gone in whether in food processing whether in educating the farmers whether in trying to create markets around that in fact today's webinar really focuses on three things whether it is the primary processing the main bottleneck where the machinery is a big problem and many fpos or even the farmers groups do not have that kind of luxury of processing their own produce that's how the supply chain got hampered and we have really analyzed how the supply chain what was existing and what what is now it has really developed into a different dimension today because of the support systems that have emerged now with the programs and policies of 10000 fpos getting created in fact we see today we are working with about 140 fpos on our own we have created 34 fpos in six different states so it has given us the experience of looking at the bottlenecks in the value chain so the main bottleneck is the primary processing i th- i think dr anand gram krishnan with ministry of food processing though we are creating fpos we don't have provision of providing the primary processing machinery to these fpos so that policy needs to be really getting supported though we look at the equities and the money raised by fpos it doesn't really serve the purpose because the kind of uh, initial status would not permit the fpos to go for this number 2 coming to the secondary processing i think these kind of webinars become very very important whether it is the value addition for convenience foods ready to eat and ready to cook foods or express foods so these are the things that are going to re- uh, cater to the changing modern lifestyles and where these millets need to be part of it so we as a institute we have been uh, working with different ministries and also preparing the blueprint for the international year of millets it has been decided that the awareness with validated results of health benefits become very very important whether it is the traditional food and traditional food processing or value added products and the value addition processing so the finer aspects of it need to be imbibed understanding the grains their properties and how when they are processed in a different way give a kind of appeal the taste and also the acceptance by the consumer so this becomes very very important that's how we have understood training retraining and capacity building becomes very very important therefore i congratulate uh, ifpt dr anand ram krishnan niftem and ministry of food processing now we are all working together with ministry of agriculture icsat the state agricultural universities the department of agriculture and this ecosystem of institutionalization of agriculture of millets its processing through food processing then the odop programs they were, they have all emerged as the triggers today that's how this interest in millets and uh, the another trigger basically is to look at the lifestyle diseases that's why we need the diversity in food millets provide this if i say i eat rice i will provide you with small millets one rice a day so that is what is the diversity you need to look at just 100 to 150 grams of millets whether in ready to eat cooked forms and traditional forms you can just replace rice and wheat just you can complement rice and wheat we can't replace it fully but that's how diversification comes when you expand the consumer demand then the area increases that's how the demand generation will help the farmer connecting him to the market whether it is the basic market or the export market so export market also could be for the traditional grains where the apida fssai so with them we are trying to create the standards good agricultural practices so this is very very important so for food processing clean grain good quality grain is the key if we don't have that we can't have good product being put on the platform and it will be enabling the mainstreaming so the idea here is whether it is imr whether it is niftem whether it is ifpt whether it is icsat we are all together to see that these grains are mainstream in helping all the entrepreneurs the startup programs whether we handle at imr the rkby raftar n grain and also the seed programs 
wherein 200 startups have been created today, about 100 plus value-added products. So in this particular range of things, we have the maturity, we have the experience, and this platform is all for you. We are here to support, and by 2023, we need to be looking at millets having the broader... Basically, all together, the institutions, the entrepreneurs, and startups. And the second system, what we have created, we need to support them in the next five years. If at all, this particular uh, system that has been, or the platform, that giving the India the global leadership in terms of the millets. So we want to capitalize and we should capitalize. If we do that, I think we'll be able to show to the world that this grain will help you to fight against the local diseases would be and give the aim of the millets of us. So you can just capitalize on us for any help and any support. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. For valuable insights. We are honored to have with us today's chief guest, Dr. Arvind Kumar sir, Deputy Director General Research and Regional Director Asia ICRISET. Sir is an experienced crop scientist with more than 28 years experience in crop improvement, trade discovery to drought tolerance, disease insect resistance and translational research. As Deputy Director General Research, he leads and provides strategic direction to ICRISET research in the area of climate resilience, nutrition, crop improvement, genomic strait development, crops, water, soil, disease management, policy, agribusiness, market linkages, and capacity development for ICRISAT mandated crops grown mostly in semi-arid regions of the world. Sir has a PhD from Indira Gandhi Agriculture University, Raipur, International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, New Delhi in plant breeding, and postdoctoral training from the International Rice Research Institute, Philippines, on molecular breeding. Sir has been bestowed with several rewards during his successful research career, these include Honor from Government of Nepal for Contribution to Agriculture in Nepal, Rafi Ahmed Kidwe Award 2014 for Crop and Horticultural Sciences, Government of India, Fellow National Academy of Agricultural Sciences, Best Scientist Award of Indira Gandhi Agriculture University, Raipur, Young Scientist Award, Madhya Pradesh Council of Science and Technology, University Gold Medal of Indira Gandhi Agriculture University. Sir has to his credit more than 62 varieties released and being cultivated in 10 different countries of Asia and Africa. Sir has published more than 162 research manuscripts, 31 chapters, plus has won patent and six germplasm registrations. Sir has supervised more than 33 scholars and postdoctoral followers. Sir has expertise in project planning, management, molecular breeding for crop improvement, translation research, and climate resilience. May I now invite Honorable Chief Guest for the address, please, sir. Good morning to each and every one of you. Uh, Director, National Institute of Food Technology, Entrepreneurship, and Management, Anjabur, Dr. C. Anand Dharmakrishnan, uh, Director, ICR, IIMR, Dr. Tonapi, uh, number of uh, senior staff from NIFTEM who has been behind uh, the organization of this uh, webinar, Business Opportunities in Millet Public Processing under this Prime Minister formalization of micro food processing enterprise scheme. The number of uh, participants from public sector from different institutes, number of participants from the private sector from different institutes, number of entrepreneurs, number of uh, starts up people, number of people who want to turn into entrepreneurship. It's a, it's a, it's a group of uh, diverse uh, people attending this uh, uh, important webinar, Business Opportunities in Millet, uh, Millet Public, uh, uh, Millet Processing. And I congratulate uh, Director NIFTEM and the staff for organizing this uh, important event, uh, an important webinar, uh, which uh, really helps in creation of a number of entrepreneurs. Now, we know that we may have uh, several problems, but these events and webinars uh, help provide many solutions to the problems which the startup, the entrepreneurs, the those who are involved with processing, 
those who are involved with the, the with the export they face and so that's a commendable effort and the credit goes to the director and the staff of uh, NIFTEM. Uh, thanks also for including me to this uh, important uh, event. Uh, and uh, the moment I was asked to, to join this, uh, you know, in front of my eye came uh, Prime Minister walking through the sorghum field at Igrisat just a few days back, you know, and uh, displaying the importance of millets. Uh, and also it becomes more important when we are getting ourselves ready to celebrate International Year of Millet 2023, uh, an important initiative by Government of India, duly endorsed by United Nations Assembly. And uh, what a privilege that, you know, Millet gets uh, more and more important in, in time to come. So a tr tremendous effort from Government of India. And in fact, Government of India is taking a number of initiatives to celebrate uh, 2023 as International Year of Millet. Now for the institutes like us, like uh, IIMR, like uh, NIFTEM, like uh, many other uh, institutes in, in the ICR system who work on the millets, uh, different aspects of the millet, and also in the government of India system and beyond who work on the aspects of millet, uh, this is an honor uh, that we will be celebrating International Year of Millet 2023. We also know the India is the largest uh, producer of uh, millet. And in fact, uh, we also understand that as we generate more and more knowledge to our population about the, the beneficial effect of the millets in the diet, the consumption of millet is going to increase. And that balance that helps us to create more demand will be benefit, beneficial to millet to increase production. Over a year, tremendous effort has been made by a number of institutes who are, uh, uh, who are engaged in improving the productivity, improving the climate resilience, improving the nutritional traits in the millets. Tremendous effort has been made. And in fact, uh, uh, there is a lot of efforts still going on that how do we enhance millet productivity in the drought prone areas, we call it A1 zone. I saw uh, Satyavati here in this uh, webinar attending and in fact yesterday only we had a meeting with her and that how do we improve the, the pearl millet's productivity in those drought prone areas. Now millets are known to be climate resilient, more nutritious, have more iron, more zinc, more calcium and in fact many of the anti-cancerous properties, anti-diabetic properties, reduction of oxidative stress, identity, hypertensive properties, and so on. So we, we have tremendous opportunities to, to improve millet further. But then also, Dr. Uh, Anand Dharma Krishna, he was talking about the export potential of the millets. And that's where we should concentrate. And that is where the processing, the storage, the, the byproducts, become very important and that will come only when we have uh, more and more entrepreneurs developed and uh, a lot of effort have gone towards that that we develop uh, more and more entrepreneurs and in fact a number of processing plants are being established but how do we make it these more accessible to to number of people who are interested in millet production i was just thinking when Dr. Tonapi was speaking that uh, there is a lot of learning from the seed sector where each of these companies, when they started their seed business, you know, they started having their own processing plant. And then suddenly they shifted to that business model where there is a processing plant where everybody goes, gets their processing and milling done and packaging done with, with their own brand and they go to the market for selling. Uh, while we work with a uh, number of institutions to, to develop those uh, primary and secondary processing plants, I think a lot has to be done in India uh, to, to provide uh, those pro access to those processing plants. But also on the other side, there's a lot of research to be done, the doubts to be cleared, how do we store, 
you know how do we increase the storage ability we all know the pearl millet has problem the rancidity problem you know how do we uh, use it together with the wheat flour how do we use it to develop uh, different products you know the composite flour how do we use it to develop bakery products excluded snacks breakfast cereals and so on and then how do we make it to that standard that meets the international standard so that that can be exported uh, look uh, i visited iimr uh, some time back i think uh, when i joined ecrisat i visited them i was thrilled to see the way iimr has taken this entrepreneurship model to the different institutions of uh, india and in fact number of uh, uh, fpos that they have created and the way they are training same way ecrisat has been doing uh what i want to say here is the capacity development of the new people is an important aspect where we combine technology where we tell them what are the ways of processing the storage so that it can enhance the self life of the millet but also we tell them about and teach them and uh, give the provide them the knowledge about uh, how they become entrepreneurs where they have to sell it how they can be a better uh, seller how do we link them with the industry how do we link them with the export market so many of the institutions are working towards this and this webinar uh, in one way or the other will provide many of the answers that that many of the people who are attending this may have the questions and i am sure that at the end of the day when people go back from this webinar they will have uh, answers and in fact they will have increased desire to turn into a uh, entrepreneurship uh, if uh, those who have been associated with the millet research like dr tanapi and others uh, dr satyavati for years they know that how the millet processing have changed over last 5 6 7 years and probably it is going to change a lot in the next few years as we develop new technology and probably we will see it becoming more easy for entrepreneurs to come into the market and start exporting start developing the the by product uh last but not least i must congratulate everybody who are attending the meeting today you will see and you will benefit from this but uh, you will also probably realize after 6 months or 1 year that how important this webinar has been for you and for everybody and i do have a request for everybody that whatever you learn spread that knowledge it is very necessary that we spread that knowledge there has been a survey conducted on the importance of millets with 15000 somewhere people uh, iimr was also involved and we still got this knowledge that uh, there is a gap in knowledge people still don't know our rural and urban consumers what is the importance of millet in our diet and unless we create that uh, knowledge through all learnings that we have and we disseminate that knowledge i think millet is not going to get to the place where we want to see millet for us 2023 will be an opportunity and these kind of webinars will help provide millet the place that uh, it should get it you know in time to come uh, probably better than what we had 60 years back uh, 60 years back we all know that we used to cultivate our forefathers used to cultivate millets in our field and probably it is time because of the climate resilience because of the nutrition that it has because of our knowledge about the health especially in terms of uh, in relation to the covid where we we doctors advise us to have the high the zinc tablets and the vitamin tablets and everything is available in the millet so uh, millet uh, do probably will gain importance in time to come so all the best to the director and i have tm today all the best to the staff who have been engaged in organizing this and all the best to participants that uh, you you derive a lot of knowledge and you help benefit number of people from your learning and many of the i believe that many of the people who are 
attending the webinar today will benefit and will initiate the activities at the startups and entrepreneurs and uh, ICRISAT. And I also take this opportunity to provide this assurance from IIMR because we work very closely. We are there and NIFTM is there to support you and other institutions are there because that's our duty. Those who are engaged in the research and uh, of different kinds, we are there to support you. Thank you very much, Director NIFTM for associating me with this important initiative and all the best for a successful webinar. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for inspiring us with those kind words. It is our honor and pleasure to introduce Dr. Raj Bhandari, sir, member National Technical Board of Nutrition and Health, Niti Ayo, since last six years. Sir is also a member of National Millets Task Force, Government of India. Sir is also subject matter expert and advisor for CMAM for Telangana, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and UNICEF since last six years. Sir has served in government of Rajasthan for 21 years with focus on mother and child welfare as senior pediatrician. As Sir is traveling to US, so he could not join us for the webinar in place. Sir has given us special address for the cause of today's webinar in the form of recorded video message. We'll play the same. A great opportunity for all of us to listen to his valuable insights. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be speaking uh, on the topic of business opportunities in millet processing. And I must thank the organizers for bringing in focus and perspective on this important issue. That government has no business to be in business. However, it is important in bringing all stakeholders on board and make policies which facilitate businesses and drive growth. So this is a defining moment in the future of agriculture or rather the entire food system where we are talking about millets simply that millets cannot be ignored. As you know, the world is moving from fossil fuels to green energy to non-GMO and sustainability goals, which heralds a transformative change. And there is a report by the Eat Lancet Commission, which says that the nutrition, healthy diet and sustainable agriculture will hold the key to the future uh, prosperity and uh, keeping our humanity safe and healthy. So, when I look back, historically, millets have been the most ancient cultivated crop almost 5,000 years ago. And uh, take a look at our ancestors. Our ancestors were tall, they were sturdy, they were strong. And uh, they, they lived a pretty good, healthy life. The quality of life was great. I wondered if there is a correlation between millets, what they cultivated first in their diet, and their lifestyle, and longevity, and the quality of life. So now we have uh, clinching evidence and uh, scientific uh, proof which is unequivocal, which points in support of our claim that millets are not only super nutritious, but they also confer a health benefit. As our Honorable Prime Minister says, yatha annam, tatha mannam. So you are what you eat. And this was also well uh, said by Hippocrates way back um, in the olden times that food is thy medicine. So we must be cognizant of the fact that whatever food intake that we do, if it is healthy, nutritious, and gives a health benefit, then that certainly becomes a very important factor in the quality of life that we process, lead. So, ODOP team, IIFPT now, which is NIFTEM Thanjavur, has done a remarkable job in giving us the best processing techniques that could that are available, the modern techniques, which could not only enhance the shelf life, 
but also make processing as a profitable a value addition in the whole value chain so millet processing being an important component of the value chain it is a very dynamic space to work in and we find that there are you know multiple dots between the producer the aggregators the processors and the consumers until the food comes to the plate so all these dots need to be well connected and we must take advantage of the modern processing techniques uh, and use to my mind what i always advocate is minimal processing simple processing techniques which help in removing of the anti nutrients and also improve on the digestibility home uh, processing like um, like uh, soaking germination uh, all these are and malting all these are very they, they have been used from times immemorial in our system as a usp positioning of millets as smart foods is important they are smart because they are good for you good for the planet and good for the farmer these are uh, good for you because they are super nutritious they uh, have uh, you know uh, huge advantage in terms of keeping us healthy free from or rather uh, keep these non communicable diseases at bay uh diseases like hypertension diabetes mellitus dyslipidemia hypercholesterolemia triglycerides even to some extent obesity can be reduced and there are other multiple uh, uh findings which show that in uh, certain cancers in allergies in uh, keeping our bowel healthy they have a lot of role to play so uh, apart from this if we are able to brand by nutrient content that would uh, be useful we ha- now have uh, we did a scientific evidence uh, we did a systematic review and meta analysis to show that millets uh could help in controlling diabetes even to some extent reversal of diabetes in hypertension in lipid metabolism in non alcoholic fatty liver disease and 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 especially iron uh, the anemia part anemia is so rampant in our country as a matter of fact from nfhs 4 to 5 uh, that is from 2014 15 to 2020 20 the national survey show that there has been an increase in anemia which is very worrisome to me as a medical person that despite all these vertical pro- programs that we are running ifa supplementation uh, fortification of uh, salt fortification now we have fortification of rice the frk the fortified rice kernels are given despite all these there is a of an increase in anemia uh, across all age groups whether it be children adolescents or uh, pregnant and lactating women so uh, it would be important that we uh, look at anemia reduction uh, and millets are a wonderful source of iron as you know we have now bio fortified varieties of pearl millet which have three times the iron and the honorable prime minister dedicated uh, on the world foods day at least 17 to 20 crops which were hybrids uh, where they they were uh, you know uh, they had they were bio fortified crops uh, and uh, they they had you know higher amount of iron higher amount of zinc magnesium and also uh, anthocyanins and other functional elements that we vitamin a 
all these are good nutrients which our body needs uh, some can be stored in our body some like sulfur containing amino acids methionine is very good in in good amount in millets uh, and uh, these uh, and and phosphorus uh, is uh, high calcium the selenium magnesium zinc all these are required on a day to day basis and therefore because they cannot be stored in our body uh, mostly therefore millets to be included in our diet so more than food they are nutritious and more than nutrition they are they are therapeutic so as i always conclude my talk with the saying that millets is not an option it is an imperative we all have to start consuming millets in a small way and get back these ancient grains on our plate so thank you for this uh, patient listening and i hope these points will uh, give you a new direction in your businesses and that they prosper and flourish to make india an atmanirbhar bharat thank you so much thank you may i now invite dr dv chidanand sir assistant professor and head in charge industry academia sir lift in tanjavur for a formal vote of thanks please good morning to all it's a great privilege to extend a vote of thanks in this program on behalf of niptam tanjavur family i sincerely thank to our chief guest and guest of honor and all resource persons and then all participants so those who are participating for today's program once again thank you all one and all present here thank you jai